Hi, my name is Dr. Gold. I'm a resident of obstetrics and gynecology at the University of Tennessee. I'd like to talk to you today just a little bit about HPV, human papillomavirus, cervical cancer, and how we can work to prevent this. So what is HPV? HPV means human papillomavirus. This is a virus that can be contracted through sexual contact and is fairly common. 79 million Americans are currently infected with HPV. 80% or eight out of 10 sexually active adults will be exposed to HPV in their lifetime. This virus causes changes to our cells that can lead to cervical cancer. There are many different strains or types of HPV. There are some which are the highest risk. These are types 16 and 18, which cause most cases of cervical cancer. Some are high risk, which may show as high risk other on your lab results, and some are lower risk. So how does someone get HPV? This can be through vaginal sex, oral sex, anal sex, even touching of the genitals with the hands after contact with another person's genitals can lead to infection. Use of shared sexual toys can lead to infection as well. You may have heard that there's a vaccination against HPV. So what is the HPV vaccine? Well, Gardasil is a non-avalent vaccine, which means that it protects against nine strains of HPV. Remember, some strains or types of HPV are more likely to cause cancer. This vaccine will not protect against strains that you have already been infected with, but it will protect you against HPV strains that you have not been infected with. HPV vaccine series is given in a two or three dose series of shots. There's the two dose series, which is given through ages nine and 14 years. The three dose series is given at the time of presentation, one to two months later, and then six months later. This is for those who start the vaccine series between the ages of 15 and 45 years of age. And remember, the HPV vaccination prevents cervical so you had your pap smear, meaning we did a cervical cancer screening where we looked at the cells of your cervix and you were notified of your pap smear results. Well, your results can be anywhere from normal to atypical cells to different variations of abnormal. Your provider will review these results with you. There are some things that may increase the risk or speed up the progression. Smoking is one of these things. Another is the number of sexual partners a person has, not being vaccinated against HPV, or having a poor immune system. Remember, your immune system fights off infections. This includes things like HIV, having an autoimmune disorder, or taking medications chronically like steroids that lower your immune system. However, there are things that can be done to protect you against the progression to cervical cancer. One of these is to quit smoking. Remember, your medical providers can help you with medications and you do not have to do it on your own. Safe sexual practices is another way that we can protect ourselves. One is through the use of barrier protection and the strategy of having fewer sexual partners. Remember, each new partner is another chance at getting exposed to other types of HPV. Another way is through HPV vaccination, as we mentioned earlier. You may need repeat testing. You may need a colposcopy. And what does that mean? Well, it's a way that we can look at the cervix. You may wonder, where exactly is my cervix? Using a microscope, which is similar to a camera, we can zoom in to take a look at your cervix. The microscope doesn't go inside of the vagina, and we may put some solutions on your cervix beforehand so that we can get better visualization. We may take a small piece of tissue called a biopsy if something doesn't look normal. You may be wondering what your results mean. You may see CIN, which is short for cervical intraepithelial neoplasia. CIN1 is a low-grade dysplasia where HPV has caused clear changes to the cells. In CIN2, there are more abnormal cells than in CIN1, but not yet precancer. CIN3 is precancer, but cannot spread to other parts of the body. There's also the possibility of seeing cervical cancer, 
This is cancer of the cervix, which has the ability to spread to other parts of the body. Over time, HPV infection leads to changes in the cells of the cervix. These changes can progress to cervical cancer. The next step is to take a quiz to see what you've learned today. You may also hear from us about follow-up.